What do you want to see him about? Well, first of all, I want to make it clear I'm, I'm on my way to Hamilton College here in New York because I have a major address there tomorrow night uh, it, up in uh, New York and upstate New York. I'm speaking on the John Burt Society at that uh, particular college. And so I felt uh, on my way to Hamilton College, I could stop by in New York City because I had to come through here anyway, and I came a day early because there had been all this discussion last week about the members of the John Burt Society being members of the police department and other government positions. And so I felt that it would be helpful uh, to talk this over with John Lindsay since we had known each other on such a cordial basis in the Congress, though frankly we didn't agree on every issue. We were in disagreement on several. And so um, I felt that um, it would be helpful to meet and talk about it. Uh, also, on the basis of statements that he made last week, I could tell that he was not fully informed on the John Birch Society. That doesn't mean he has to agree with us. But it was obvious that he didn't fully appreciate our stand on many issues, and I wanted to help clarify those, and I felt it could be a constructive meeting. So that's why I'm here in the City Hall to try to obtain a, a, an appointment with him if we can. But I realize he's tremendously pressed. He's got a swearing-in ceremony today for in the field of narcotics, and he's got many other appointments. Well, he's made it unmistakably clear that he has no use for the Birch Society, or, uh, and apparently he, uh, he frowns on the fact that policemen are members of it. Uh, what do you think about that? Well, I, he has every right to frown on people uh, being members of the Birch Society. That's his prerogative. I think he would probably agree with the American Civil Liberties Union spokesman who said last week uh, that though uh, they may disagree with, with Birch ideas, that they have no right to disqualify them as policemen as long as they carry out their duties faithfully. And of course, members of the John Burt Society always carry out their responsibilities wherever they are with, uh, with uh, vigil and, uh, and a sense of dedication, no matter what that responsibility is. Let me 